destroy it, then and put it in this the fast the stone in it. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make kebab chutney. First of all, I've got a kilo of mints, salt for taste, a handful of mint, which I've chopped up roughly, a handful of dania chopped up roughly, one medium-sized onion, a teaspoon of garlic and half a teaspoon of ginger finely crushed, half a teaspoon of jeera powder, that's one and a half green chilies. We're going to start off by mixing in the garlic and ginger. Get everything into the bowl with the green chili. That depends on how hot you want it. To this, I'm going to add in our onion. All of this. Our dania. And lastly, our mint. I'm going to give this a good mix. Okay. So we're just going to mix this all together. With a spoon. All the mints has some spice, some green, as you would say. I'm using lamb mints, but if you want, you can use beef or pork. All up to you. Now that we mix this up nicely, as you can see, I'm going to be dropping in my jeera powder and then salt. As per your taste, whether you want it extra or less, and give this a good mix. This is a basic kebab mix. If you like, you can add in some green peppers or some tomato. I'm just doing a basic mix. Make sure you've covered everything with your cumin, your jeera powder, your salt, and your spices. Now we're going to get our hands busy in there and give it a good mix. So that all the salt is absorbed into the mince. The cumin is mixed up into it. And all the spices come together. Mix it up nicely. Just gonna wash up my hands. Then we're going to roll this into balls. Okay, I'm back now. Now to make the balls of the meatballs, you're just gonna take a normal tablespoon and we're gonna use that to scoop up. But before that, we're just gonna put a little bit of oil on our hands. You can use any oil you want so that it's easier to roll. Okay, so now we're just going to take a tablespoonful. We're going to squeeze them like this and we're going to roll them into long balls. Just got a plate to set them all aside. Let's see how many we get out of these. They don't have to be perfectly round, but we're trying. Squeeze it and roll it. The reason why we squeeze it is so that when we put them to fry, they don't break apart. We're going to do all of them at once 
and they made me start to fry if I worked in at once. Okay, now that we've done making the meatballs itself, we're going to fry this. I've got 21 meatballs that I've got out of a kilo of mince because I've made them quite big as you can see. There we go. So now we're going to fry this in some oil. Okay, I'm just going to be putting in a little bit of oil into my nonstick pan. The reason being is because the fat that's from the mince is going to come through as well. I'm going to move this around. Okay. See, it's getting hot. I know they heat a bit. I'm going to put in my first meatball. I'm really going to just put them in gently. Once we done the meatballs, I'm going to be putting them into a chutney, which we're going to be making shortly. You can use this for your uh, spaghetti if you like. And I could throw them in. Just going to move them around like that. Because we squeeze them first before we have actually rolled them around, they won't be easy. So we're going to let this fry up for a bit. And slowly we're going to turn them on each side. So that each one cooks all the way through. We're going to be using a fork to turn them. You see, they're getting cooked slowly. Keep the front burning up nicely there. Turn that one around. And let them cook a few minutes on each side before we turn them. You can use a bright tongue as well. I prefer using a fork. By the time you've done one set of meatballs, the other side is ready to turn. So they evenly cooked all the way around. going to cook for the bit and so it's all nicely brown at each side and then we're going to do our chutney. Now that each side has browned up nicely, I'm going to lower the heat a little bit more and I'm going to cover this for the lid and let it cook for three minutes so the inside gets cooked and then once that's done we're doing our chutney. I'm going to cover this for three minutes on a low flame and it's going to cook on the inside. Like I told you guys, can you see the oil at the bottom here? That's from the fat of the mince. That is why we just put in a little bit, not too much. For three minutes and we'll be back. Okay, our three minutes are up. So now it's beautifully cooked. Now I'm going to be taking them out of this pan. And putting them aside. I need the gravy in there. Scoop one of them out. As you can see, there's bits of onion and mint that have come off. And then we fry. But our kebab, the meatballs, are so firm. So now I'm going to do the chutney in the same pot. So, let's get our ingredients. Here I have six tomatoes which I have grated up, a medium sized onion, a teaspoon of garlic and ginger, a green chili and a sprig of curry leaf, a teaspoon, hip teaspoon of curry powder of your choice, half a teaspoon of turmeric and one star anise seed. Here I've got half a teaspoon of sugar, which is going to be used for the chutney to kill the acidity and for more of a little bit of sweetish taste and salt as well. 
I'm going to be using the same frying pan to make the chutney because it's got all the, the fat and the flavor from the meatball. So to this, I'm going to add in my star anise. I'm going to let that fry up for like five seconds to leave some flavor. Now I'm going to add in the onions, garlic and ginger, chili and curry leaf. You can add in more and green chili if you like. I didn't use too much spice as the kebab itself has some green chili. I'll give this a stir. Get this fry off and soften up a bit for about two minutes. Okay, let's give it a stir now. It's nice and soft. The brown bits here are from the kebab itself. Don't stress about that in your pot. But to this, I'm going to be adding in my curry powder and my turmeric all at once. Give it a stir. So while this is frying up, the curry powder is frying up, I'm going to add in my salt now. That's as per your taste, but remember your kebabs already have salt. Let's give it a stir. Now that the curry powder has cooked down a bit, I'm going to be putting in my tomatoes all at once. Let's give it a stir so it's Mixed up with the curry powder and the onion. And this is going to cook for about seven minutes until the tomatoes have cooked down nicely. Now to this I'm going to be adding in my sugar, that's to kill the acidity. And I'm going to be dropping in three sprigs of thyme. That's going to simmer for oh, seven minutes. I'm going to cover this up and let it simmer. And then we should be ready to add in the kebabs after this. Hey okay, guys, now our chutney seems to be cooked. I'm going to be dropping in the meatballs and then let this simmer for a bit. Let's put them all in. We're going to coat them in the chutney. Okay, I'm just going to give this a stir so that all the meatballs are covered with the chutney. Gonna move them around as you can see they're still firm and they haven't broken up not as yet okay this is gonna simmer for five minutes because meatballs are pre-cooked and they're all nicely coated and we're gonna let this simmer five minutes and then we're going to switch this off okay guys five minutes is over here we go, our meatballs soaked in our chutney. And to this, I'm just going to throw, put up the flame and throw on some dania. And we're going to plate this up now. Here we go, our meatballs. Here we go, guys, the kebab chutney, which I'll be serving with some roti. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to comment down below. Until next time, bye.